Jung talked about a principle that he called synchronicity. I think a lot of us call it, uh, I don't know, luck or happenstance or uh, coincidence. Um, but he called it an a-causal, uh, an a-causal uh, principle. But the idea was that things happen when they're supposed to happen and things that don't seem to have any reason or connection with one another will occur and shift our lives in a new direction. Uh, we'll find something just an amazing coincidence. And I remember one in particular in my own life that actually got me started on this whole line of appreciating the inward journey. Um, and it's, it began back when I was a pastor. I was a member of a book club. It was one of those book clubs that would send you a notice every month and you could decide whether or not you wanted that book and then send it back and say yes or no. And the book that was being offered was a thing called The Other Side of Silence, um, which I had never heard of. And I had never heard of the author. And uh, I just decided I was not interested uh, in this whatsoever. And so I distinctly remember checking off that I did not want that book and sending it off to the book club. Well, a month later, the book arrived. And as I held it in my hands and I looked at it, the author was a, an Episcopal priest named Morton Kelsey, who had been strongly influenced by Jung. And the book was about the inner life of spirituality, of appreciating dreams and uh, meditation and inward looking uh, perspectives. And so I thought, well, it looks like an interesting book. I'll go ahead and read it. And that book, more than any other, set me up for uh, an appreciation of the inward journey, an appreciation of the depths that are within our own psyches and that we very seldom pay attention to. Very shortly after, there was another uh, synchronicity that I didn't realize at the time, but I received an invitation to come to a silent retreat. And I had never heard of the people that were sponsoring it, but Morton Kelsey had whetted my interest in doing this kind of work. And so I decided to go. And I thought this group had been operating for years. I thought they had been offering retreats like this for some time. But later on, I learned this was the very first time they had offered this retreat. And so coming so quickly, uh, just on the heels of the book, it was very clear that something was nudging me in a new direction that, had be that became one of the core focuses of my life from then on.